Women are gender. At a time when the two leaders are under political pressure. Mr. Mungai, what political pressure is Rotangula and Kashangwa under? Kashangwa would understand. Well, even though people say that a frog does not jump in broad daylight unless something is after its life, I would want to disagree with that saying, especially in view of the fact that in broad daylight we can see the Deputy President Kashangwa and uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, yes. Moses Wetangula. Mm -hmm. I would say that they are not united by the fear factor as yes. the standard so reports. I think that's the wrong assertion. Remember, these two people are at the top echelons of society. One is the Speaker of the National Assembly, which is the legislative arm of government, and the other is the deputy head of the executive. Now, when those two people meet, they meet to plan the agenda of the nation. And specifically so, why, why it is important for Wetangula to visit the deputy president is because the Mount Kenya region has a raft of issues that they would want addressed in the national house. Okay? And who is the better man to do that than Moses Wetangula? And therefore, I would, I would because I, I, I followed the conversation that they had, I mean, it's very clear. When the, when the deputy president who comes from Mount Kenya region summons Moses Wetangula, he was summoning him because of the legislative agenda with particular reference to propagation of the economic agenda of the people of Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. There are several bills that are in the House that needs to be expedited, such as uh, the coffee reforms bill. Mm -hmm. Those are things that touch on, uh, on, on Mount Kenya people. There is the issue of avocado. You are already aware that a committee has been formed and legislation is in the pipeline. That also is a preserve of what Wetangula needs to look into. And therefore, it is important for the deputy president to keep on consulting national leaders and especially for the welfare of the people of the Mount Kenya region. That's it. But let, when you look at exactly what's going around Gashagwa and Moses Betangula, 